Museum of Art is inviting the public to new exhibits and events for the entire family. Dallas Tavares joins us live from Ward Street with more on what to see. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christine Ross. Yep, we're here to give you a preview of their newest exhibit, Cross Pollination. And here joining us on take two, we have our friend Catherine Whitney, who's the Director of Curatorial Affairs. Good morning, Catherine. Good morning, Dallas. Thank you for coming. Yes, always happy to be here at the Honolulu Museum of Art. And this is such a cool space. Of course, things already stand out with the bright pink walls. Right. So tell us a little bit about this exhibit and what we could really take away from it. Yeah, this is a really exciting exhibit. It is a trans historic cross collection show, which means we have looked at works across our 55,000 piece collection and we've picked out highlights that have floral themes or flower images that evoke spiritual, sensual, psychological uh, symbolism from nature. And um, we're doing this to celebrate not only our amazing permanent collection, but a really exciting contemporary exhibition we have coming up in September that involves a million dried flowers hanging from the ceiling, and we'll get to that later. And I think you actually have an example on what you're looking for when it comes to those dried flowers, if you want to show our viewers. I do. So Rebecca Louise Law is a contemporary artist who will come to the museum and hang over a million of dried flowers flowers like this. Uh, these are some that I've collected myself. We are taking donations at the art school of flowers from here. We're combining them with her own collection and we need volunteers across the community to help string these garlands of dried flowers. A million you said, yeah? Well, she already has a million. We're going to oh. add 20,000 from Hawaii. Wow. So we need help for a month. So okay. please check our website and volunteer for some stringing because you'll learn how to do this beautiful stringing and you'll contribute to this amazing exhibition. We have coming up. There's also a really cool interactive experience with some postcards you have. Yeah. So this exhibition, as I said, is drawn from our collection. And it's a complement to this contemporary hanging flower exhibition we have. So these are all works in our permanent collection, except for a couple special loans. And this piece, for example, is a wonderful masterwork of 17th century Flemish art of highly realistic flower imagery. And what we've done is we've created postcards from some of our top works in the collection, and we're inviting our guests to take a postcard, yeah. look at some symbolism, like for the Dutch and Flemish artists, they wanted to point out sort of the, the temporality and, and the, um, the um, shortness of life, right? And so they want, and transformation. So we're inviting guests to take a postcard and send this message, in this case, share a story of transformation with someone that doesn't know that. Send a postcard to them on us, or just keep a postcard from the show. That's so beautiful, and of course, that's just a piece of this new exhibit. I wanna see three different ones. If you could just briefly explain on what we're seeing here. This is really cool. Yeah, there's a lot in this show. It's really bright, it's cross-cultural, and this piece is a very special loan we have from the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art. We wanted to have a work by Diego Rivera on our collection um, here in the show, but they really wanted it for a special exhibition, so we traded. So they sent us this a really important German expressionist piece by Max Beckman, and this was created during the Nazi era, and he actually lost his position um, teaching and was sent off to Amsterdam. So this is his wife behind flowers and it's a really evocative period of struggle, of um, dislocation, and a lot of the issues we're dealing with right now. Catherine, can you show us on what this bouquet is really? Yeah, isn't this incredible? This is Eli Baxter and this is a Honolulu-based artist and um, this is actually made with bicycle inner tubes. Oh, wow. Yeah, so so it's not necessarily beautiful, but it's fascinating and captivating in a different way. And there's sort of an environmental message in here about waste, about consumer excess, about um, fossil fuels and things like that. So um, there's a lot to this show that's more than just pretty flowers. Different textures, different designs, flowers, of course, all part of the cross-pollination exhibit. Of course, if you want some more details on how you could come check it out, there's digital trees and all different sorts of stuff here. Take a, take a look at that. So cool. Um, you can visit our website at khwin2.com and also be a part of those interactive experiences that the museum is holding as well. Until then, reporting over here at the scene, Dallas Anaveros, KH12 News, working for Hawaii. Oh, wow. Very cool, Dallas. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Coming up next, it's time to roll up the.